in this part of my lecture we're going to introduce some key information security and assurance terms so that you have better understanding of the later discussions of various topics that will be discussed in this class mm -hmm. we can get started with uh, this term threat and a threat actually means anything that could do harm to an information system it could be an attack or an attacker a person that could do some damage or that could do harm to an information system in other words I mean to give an example there could be mainly uh, two different types of threats one is man-made and the other is artificial so these types of disasters a lot of times people don't think of these types of uh, disasters as a threat to an information system but they actually are so for example uh, natural disasters such as earthquake tornadoes tsunami and so on I mean those are good examples of natural threats another type of threat which is a man-made threat I mean for example could be a war a disaster like a war when a war occurs of course uh, information systems can be destroyed by physical means such as bombs and so on another example this is also man-made is in the form of software and there are a lot of software applications that are designed to do harm to an information system such as uh, viruses or trojans and so on so these types of bad software applications we call them collectively uh, malicious software and in short uh, malware and you're all very familiar with this type of threat Okay, next is vulnerability. Vulnerability means any weaknesses in your information systems that could be exploited by a threat. Just to give an example, if your system doesn't have the latest patch installed that could be exploited by a malware program. So in this case, a threat is a malware program and the vulnerability is not having the latest patch installed. An asset is any resource or resources valuable for an organization to conduct its business. So once again you can see that the resources could be computing resources as well as data or information and when you think about this idea of an asset an asset doesn't have to be a thing but it could be also human resources so a lot of times people miss this aspect of uh, an asset and don't think about uh, human beings or employees in the organization as an asset but you definitely have to consider human resources as well when you think about assets. So far we talked about a threat and also we talked about vulnerability and also an asset and you need to think about how these things work together in the context of information security and assurance. To give an idea for example when an attack occurs or when a threat gets materialized and when it's able to exploit a vulnerability in an information system that particular threat has an impact on an asset so the consequence of an attack or a threat getting materialized through a vulnerability is an asset so try to somehow think of these concepts in a context 
how they are related to each other and I think things will start making more sense to you when an attack is successful we call it uh, compromise so a uh, successful attack in general is called a compromise we can also say that a compromise is a threat getting materialized turning into a reality there are some synonyms to this term compromise compromise can be also called a breach another term that has the same meaning is incident so compromise breach incident they all mean the same thing a successful attack so to keep these threats from getting materialized we need to use countermeasures therefore countermeasures actually mean ways to either reduce or remove compromises or the possibility of or the probability of a threat getting materialized a threat getting materialized we called it a compromise we can also introduce a new term here in relation to countermeasures and the new term is risk and risk is very closely related to all these terms threat countermeasures compromise etc and risk means actually the probability of a compromise or possibility of a compromise therefore we can write out the definition of risk as shown here another aspect of risk is actually associated with the term asset because when a threat gets materialized it will have an impact on an asset and that's what we already talked about but the amount of damage done to that particular asset can be also interpreted as uh, risk so when you talk about risk there are two things you need to consider the first one is the probability and the possibility aspect of the risk another aspect of it is a damage actually done to the asset the amount of damage done to an asset that can be also considered a risk the goal of information security is ultimately to promote these three uh, different things first confidentiality next integrity and finally availability confidentiality means somehow providing access to computing resources only to the authorized users so confidential I mean the meaning of that word is really keeping something secret so only the people who has permissions to have access to the computing resources data or information should be able to access the resources that's what we mean by confidentiality integrity means changes or deletion of a resource computing resource data or information is only allowed for the authorized users and finally availability means any computing resources data or information are accessible when needed by the authorized users so that means when they need to use a resource it has to be available or it has to be accessible so confidentiality and integrity I mean they they make sense to you very easily I mean why we need to really pursue confidentiality and integrity when it comes to information security and assurance availability sometimes it's not clear why it's so important in information security and assurance but when you think about it I mean if the system is not available 
it's almost as bad as confidentiality and integrity getting compromised and a good example of this is these days there are a lot of uh, denial of service attacks that pretty much affects the availability of a system so that the authorized users cannot use the system when they need to use and that leads to a lot of uh, problems and this type of attack is probably the easiest type of attack that can have a direct impact on the security of a system.